the Guinness Handicap Chases next two and a half miles. This one, 0 to 140. Venodome's at the top for Darren Thompson. New Year's Day, Martin Leedham. Stitching Time, Graham Clitterbrook. Steel George, Stu Gray. Cashier L, Martin Leedham. Helvellyn runs David Robertson. Need a tonic, Craig Beckwith. Dying of the Day, Padraig Hogan. Strong Arrow, John Morgan. Buffalo Commercial and the Yuma One. For Vinny Gerard, everybody's four, Padraig Hogan. Presque Flay, David Robertson. Roller six, Craig Beckwith. October Bay. Oh, Graham Clutterbuck, Titch Jazz and Ebonema Plod for Alex Cherry, Lifestyle Biscuit for Derek Hinton, Postilion Stu Grey, Beach Breeze David Hooley and a Ryan Optimist for Derek Hinton. So 21 in this, on a big field. All in and away. Heading down towards the first of all, probably 12 or so fences. 13 in fact, as they get to the first. Which they all get over it okay. With the John Morgan horse strong arrow now being driven into the lead. Now it's quickly got a couple of lengths clear. As they get into the first, the ditches. And um, we've lost one there. We lost two. Everybody's fallen. Titch Jazz have both gone at that first ditch. Um, strong arrow. Looks like he's going to set the pace to sort of few of them out in this. Seven, what, well, about know, ten or twelve of them in a line, so some of them are going ridiculously wide. At the moment, they'll be hoping to get themselves tucked in a little bit before they turn out of the home straight. They head down towards this fence now. It'll be the last next time round, and Strong Arrow will lead over it by a good six or seven lengths. With the Graham Clutterbuck pair, October Bay and Stitching Time challenging for second with Buffalo Commercial, then Presk Flay. And Ipanema Plod, who's wide on the track. The David Hooley horses are the ones who are particularly wide. Beach Breeze is one of them. Uh, I think the other actually is a Stu Grey horse. In fact, it is, yes, yeah, still George. Cacherel's also quite wide on the inside of them. But Strong Arrow takes the fourth. With a clear lead mistake at the back by Ryan Optimist. Strong Arrow's lead is about four lengths or so to. Buffalo Commercial has got a similar advantage over Ipanema Plot, who's now third. Then October Bay and Presque Flay and Hellvillian runs after that as they take the fifth. Which they all got over okay. Strong arrow. In front. Buffalo Commercial second. Hellvillian runs is now moved through to third as they get over that next one. Cacherel towards the back also. Pastilla and Roller six. The back marker though is a right optimist. Beach Breeze has also dropped out of the back as they get over this ditch. That's number seven. And they've all got over that with the exception of Steel George. So Steel George has gone. And it's Strong Arrow who's in front. And he's kicking on again now. And he's back up to five lengths or so. Buffalo Commercial is second and then Ipanema Plot. Hillvillian runs, they get to the 8th. All safely over the 8th. And heading down towards the 9th, they're inside the final mile now. And Strong Arrow is clear of the lead. From Buffalo Commercial in 2nd. Oh, and he's gone, Buffalo Commercial. Buffalo Commercial didn't get high enough there and crashed out. David Robertson spare Hillvillian runs and Presque Flay have now come through. To share second with Graham Clutterbuck's pair, stitching time on October Bay. Then after them comes Ipanema Plod, Venodome is next, Roller 6 is getting closer, Yuma 1 and Postilion getting the first mention, then Beach Breeze, Lifestyle Biscuit has got work to do, Cacherel being scrubbed along around the outside, New Year's Day's dropped right out to last. This is the third from home. Oh, mistake there. Well, Hillvillian runs might have put pay to that one's chance. But Strong Arrow's kicking off home, coming down on this final ditch then, which is the second last fence. It's Strong Arrow from October Bay and stitching time. Then on the outside comes Beach Breeze, Venodomes after that, then Roller Six. Then comes Presque Flay, Hellvellian Flames. He's still trying to run on again, but it's Strong Arrow who's got the lead, then racing towards the straight with one more fence to take. Strong Arrow's in the lead. Venodome is in second. Stitching time is third. Then Beach Breeze, October Bay, and Presque Flay's after that one. They're coming down to this final fence. 
Dragons now then, and Venadome has come to challenge for the lead. Venadome's come to challenge Strong Arrow. Strong Arrow, though, he's just about in the lead. Still gets over it nicely, and he's still two lengths clear. The one that's flying on the outside is Need of Tonic, but now Stitching Time comes through to challenge. So too does Beach Breeze. October Bay comes through as well, but it's Beach Breeze who's taking it up. Beach Breeze from October Bay and Need of Tonic, and it's got to be Beach Breeze who's going to take it. Need of Tonic is second, and then press play October Bay, roller six, Yuba one. Stitch in time after that one. And. Well, a few of those didn't get into that race at all. Thanks mainly to the pace of the leader. And Beach Breeze has taken it. For David Hooley. Need a tonic second for Craig Beckwith. Presk Flay for David Robertson was third. And Roller Six for Craig Beckwith again was fourth. With October Bay fifth. All Graham Clutterbuck.